top of the morning. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. Uh, hey. <laughs> anyway. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the Damsels in Debate podcast. I am your host, Tina. And I'm your co-host, Vanessa. Yay, Vanessa's back this Yay. week. Um, and I understand you're getting over a bit of a cold, yeah, too. Yeah, so if I sound a little stuffy, I'm sorry. Or if I have to lean back and cough, I'm sorry ah, again. So Just don't cough on me. Yeah, so I'm saying you'll hear a... <laughs> Like right. that. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Before we say anything. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> what are we going to say at the beginning of every podcast from uh, now every on? Every single podcast now, we're going to say, hey, any movie we talk about, it, there's going to be spoilers. So, spoiler alert for every movie that we talk about, basically, every new release or previously released movie. Right. We're going to exactly. talk about it in detail. Yes, because we actually, it's pretty cool. We, uh, <laughs> our podcast is on fire right now. <laughs> we got two new reviews on iTunes. Two? Two, two Tina? Yeah. What? Jeez, two? two? Yeah, two. <laughs> Dos. <laughs> so we're up to three total. So thank you so much, guys. That really, really helps out a lot. And um, let's see. We're not going to read them because they're a little long. But we just want to give a shout out to uh, Robin1026. Or is that Robin1026? I'm not oh, sure. No. But anyway, maybe that's her birthday or his birthday. Maybe. So happy early birthday, Robin. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> maybe. But yes, thank you. Thank you. You gave us a review uh, on iTunes. And also to, um, let's see, it's Eternal Sunshine. So I'm thinking that's Eternal Sunshine. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much for giving us some constructive uh, criticism and mm -hmm. feedback. We really greatly appreciate that. Um, I mean, we both figured it was kind of obvious. We, yeah, we said it a bunch in the earlier podcast. But from now on, we're just going to say right at the top of the, each podcast that uh, we uh, do spoilers in our reviews. Yeah. We want to give full reviews, our full thoughts on movies. Mm -hmm. So that includes spoilers. So don't listen to any podcasts. Uh, if it's a movie you want to see or a TV show you want to see, but um, don't want to be spoiled by anything. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Moving on. Thank yes. you guys so much. That, that we, we really do yes. appreciate that. Thank, Thank you. you very much. <laughs> All righty. So, yes, we did both go see a new movie this week. Um, what did we go see? Gravity. Gravity. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Gravity. Yeah, okay. So, um, <laughs> I, uh, this, I did see, I think, one uh, trailer for this movie mm -hmm. before I you know, sworn off trailers. Mm -hmm. So I, I kind of knew what it was about and stuff. But um, what did you think? I thought it was good. Like, mm -hmm. it was a good, uh, the whole time I was going, oh, no, like, yes. biting my nails and stuff. Like, yeah. just holding on my seat going, come on, just reach out. Or, <laughs> you know, so, and I really like the fact that it what it didn't seem too long. Like, it wasn't, like, drawn out. Like, it, it, was it ended awesome. just the right time, and mm -hmm. it was just a good length for it. Yeah, I checked the, the really runtime, tight. and it was 90 minutes. Yeah. And I was like, yes, okay, this is, this is going to be good. I'm not, like you said, I'm not going to have any... Um, boring drawn out parts or anything like mm -hmm. that but yeah i agree i really really enjoyed this movie mm -hmm. and uh, we saw it in 3d mm -hmm. and i really liked it in 3d too i mean you know me i don't like paying the extra for 3d but if you decide you want to see it in 3d i'd say go ahead and do it yeah. you'll, you'll enjoy it you know what would probably be really cool for this movie is 3d imax yes because the movie is absolutely gorgeous right mm -hmm. yeah it's a great cinematography i was just thinking like how did they film this they do it all green screen like all the the gravity stuff you know where mm -hmm. they're they're weightless like how yeah. did they do all this yeah it it looks really really great the uh, special effects are awesome and mm -hmm. i actually i was reading a little bit about it this morning and the guy who directed it um what is his name Alfonso uh, Cuaron. I'm not exactly sure how you pronounce his last name. But um, he... I haven't seen all his movies. Um, I've seen Prisoner of Azkaban, uh, the Harry, third Harry Potter movie. Oh, okay. And then also Children of Men, which I really, really enjoyed. Um, and then actually, when I found out he was directing the movie, it made me a little bit more interested in seeing it. And uh, anyway... Oh, so I... Okay, I, I, this movie, I guess, was in development or whatever for a couple of years because... They had to wait for certain parts of the movie um, for special effects and technology to catch mm. up, so that it would, you know, it would look as good as it does in the movie. Mm. So that I thought that was interesting. 
I what I really liked is how they they say at the beginning um, they have like a little narration or something mm-hmm. or no they didn't have narration they, they the just had text, text on the screen yeah. but said that like in space like it's not habitable like and the, it can't carry there's no oxygen and it can't can't carry sound right and I thought that was important because all the different there's a bunch of different explosions and crashes that happen in this movie and it's it's quiet because mm-hmm. you won't hear a you know in yeah, space exactly. because sound does not carry so mm-hmm. they had just the uh, and I don't remember how it went but they had like a I think a, a slow musical score behind it yeah like, and, yeah know, it wasn't really soundtrack. loud mm-hmm. and that's what made it really interesting because you see this huge explosion you're waiting to hear the, yeah. the sound and you don't hear it because it's in it, the whole movie takes place in space exactly except for at the very end but yeah. right right and uh yeah that that actually brings me to another thing i just wanted to make mention of the the whole opening scene of that movie which was what like 15 minutes or something it was mm-hmm. a long time and it was just all one continuous shot where it would remember it was like changing points of interest like you would George Clooney, Clooney kind of floated across the screen and then you the camera kind of panned over and you oh, saw what yeah. he was working on it was all one I didn't shot I think about that they they make it seem like it's not one yeah. long shot now yeah. they think about it, like oh that's right because the camera kind of twirled yep. around and he twirled around they showed the one guy and then went over to her mm-hmm. and then back huh yeah so that I thought that was very interesting I really liked it yeah I mean I really liked the whole movie but mm-hmm. just that part stuck out to me a lot and like you said I remember we were sitting there and there's a lot of points in the movie where you're holding your breath yeah. <laughs> in suspense and stuff and um, there was one part at the very end I think it was when she was in the water and she finally gets up out of the water and you know sucks in air and everybody mm-hmm. in the audience went like, <gasps> <gasps> we like breathed with her yeah actually yep. that happened a lot where she finally got out and she went <gasps> Like mm-hmm. she sucked in a breath. Like that happened uh, quite a bit. So they were focusing on the how there's no oxygen in space. Yeah, you know? yeah. It's <laughs> it's so it's funny how it's it's like claustrophobia, but it's yeah. kind of the exact opposite. But it, it it's very it's similar. So vast. Yeah. 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 I kind of wish that they had, because they just explained how there was just um, a debris cloud or something like that. Like they didn't really. It was um. What did he say? It was a Russian satellite that exploded. Exploded, exploded or something? Exploded or something. Yeah, it's, it's, it's some kind of Russian something. I don't so remember I, if it was a satellite or not, though. I thought they would go into that, and th- I thought there maybe be an underlying thing, like, mm-hmm. oh, that was done on purpose or something by the Russians. But I think it was it was just like, it was supposed to be just like a freak accident yeah. that happened. Yeah. You know, it's funny, because we watched the beginning twice. Because <laughs> in the theater, the, what was it, the sound was messed up really or Really low, yeah. So, what, like 10 minutes into the movie, we had to restart it. <laughs> <laughs> So you yeah. think we'd know, but whatever. <laughs> that is funny at the beginning, though, because you got this music. Dun, 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 yeah, and, goes, yeah. and then just quiet. And it's mm-hmm. a space, like vast, empty space. Yes, like, exactly. So that was really a good... Uh, you know. I also like that they had Ed Harris as voice of Houston. <laughs> I thought that was a nice little nod because, you know, he did uh, Apollo 13 mm-hmm. and stuff like that. And he's got a very distinct distinct voice yeah. so I'm like I know I know that guy who is that and yeah, I remember like, oh, you leaning over is that Ed Harris I'm like yeah yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah not not a very big cast in this movie <laughs> I remember most of the movie you're all like oh my god it's so serious but mm-hmm. this one line where she I think she had just gotten back into like a uh, another shuttle or something like that and she's mm-hmm. like I hate space <laughs> <laughs> yeah Sandra Bullock did a really good job I know People either really like her or really don't like her. Mm-hmm. I really like her. I, like I thought her. she did a great job. And uh, George Clooney, I also thought was really mm-hmm. good in it too. Oh, poor George Clooney. <laughs> I really, so scary. <laughs> I really was convinced that he had somehow got back to the ship <laughs> oh, when really? she had that that dream sequence, and it was just like a dream she had of him uh, giving her advice on what to do. But yeah. it, it, I really thought he had come back, like he had gotten back in there. I did like when he first hit the door. I thought he did, and then when he was going to open it, I'm like, oh my god, is he gonna like? Is she gonna like get sucked out, and then that'll be the end of the movie? Because mm-hmm. I was really afraid this movie was gonna have like a really sad ending. Yeah, so. I was really worried about that. But then once he got in, I was like, this is a little weird. Mm -hmm. I, and then it was like, okay, it's her hallucinating. (laughs) Yeah. I was trying to figure out what would happen if he did open the things. I saw all the, the thing gets sucked out. Like Mm -hmm. would everything just get sucked out or what? I I guess everything that's not vacuum attached. Yeah. Like not like locked down or like, I think she had her seatbelt on and stuff. So she was like, wouldn't her face get sucked in or something? I don't know. I think (laughs) it was, probably open for a long time something mm-hmm. like that might happen honestly i don't know anything about yeah space, i don't know so either. just putting that out there. yeah I, I don't know so i'm like uh, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. most of the stuff seemed legit to me but yeah. again like i don't know anything about that kind of stuff uh, i'm trying to think if there's anything else i wanted to mention about the movie um i also liked how and i think this happened a lot like right after the 
the initial blast where the other guy uh, was killed mm -hmm. and she was doing her tumble yeah. in the space, which is oh, it's horrifying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and um, and like like the, the 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 camera, like you see her and she's you know floating out there and she's you know trying not to panic and stuff. Mm -hmm. And then the camera would zoom in and it kind of went in. So they made it so it was like you were almost inside her helmet with her. Yeah. So you saw her view and you could hear her breathing like she was right there and stuff. Mm -hmm. And then it came back out. Like I liked how they did all that yeah. kind of stuff because you you really got a um a sense of like <laughs> what she saw, which was mm -hmm. just so scary. <laughs> oh. <sighs> Yeah, <laughs> that's why I remember saying, uh, saying to you afterwards that like I can never go out in space because mm -hmm. like we I think recently like a couple of years ago or something NASA had an explosion of a oh a, yeah uh, of a shuttle or something like they're not on top of their game so I would <laughs> not go out this I'm sorry yeah I uh, I mean if I had the opportunity of course I would train for it and stuff but I I would have uh, I would definitely be scared <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah I, I don't know if someone says hey you can go out to the go up to the moon and land mm -hmm. the moon I'd be like oh I don't know <laughs> <'Cause> <laughs> you, see, you know we've seen alien and see, <laughs> like alien. I don't know I don't think we're meant to go up, up there <laughs> <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll I'll hold down the fort here <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, no, but away really, from though. earth <laughs> yeah, yeah exactly no, but uh, yeah, I really enjoyed this movie. Thought yeah. it was very good. I'm really glad we got tickets to it because I probably wouldn't have gone to the movies to see mm -hmm. it because I was just kind of like, oh, that looks interesting, but whatever. Yeah. But I'm really glad I saw it in the theater because it's it's one of those movies where I think you should see it on the big screen because yeah. it's not like a really loud movie or anything like a lot of um, bigger budget movies are. You know, they're really loud and and then you have to see them on the big screen because of that kind of stuff. But this one, it's just visually, it's mm -hmm. to get the um, full effect, I guess you could say. Yeah. Uh, you should see it on the big screen. I think we should mention at the very ending how they kind of revert back to the, the meaning of the title at the very oh, end. Oh, yeah, like yeah. Like after she... Um, she crashes and climbs back out and she goes to like push herself off like mm -hmm. she's so used to doing it. She's like, oh, gravity, yeah. you know? Yeah. And then it goes, boom, gravity. I'm like, oh, that's clever. <laughs> yeah, yep. she's struggling to walk a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you know, I was really, really worried she was going to drown at yes. the end of the movie. Yes, oh my God. <laughs> I was like, if she drowns, this movie is the worst movie ever. Exactly. That's. I was so afraid that it was going to end, you know, kind of like that or not exactly that, but something you know, one of those instances with something like that happening. And I was, I was really worried. I'm glad it, they didn't. Yeah. I mean, it's still like the other two guys died and they died horribly. But yeah. <laughs> you never really see what kind of happens to George Clooney, but actually think about like, yeah, you, it's, it's a horrible death in that, you know, you're going to die, you know, you're going to run out of oxygen. But mm -hmm. if you, once you start breathing the CO2, you kind of just pass out. Like it's not a painful death. It's not so. painful, but it's that whole period before yeah. that you're just floating out and you're yeah that's what I'm it's you psychological. could be more alone yeah, yeah. so um, i wouldn't want to die. no i wouldn't want to die like that either like no yeah. <laughs> like i'm just gonna take my helmet off and get it over with quicker <laughs> i'd be too scared to do that but like, <laughs> like, i'll let the co2 take me <laughs> just go now <laughs> i can't take the suspense <sighs> but yeah good movie good movie yes all righty so that was our only movie theater movie this mm -hmm. week and um so now Okay, because your your cue was a little mixed up, but what did you watch for your your horror movie? What, what did you watch? I um I know I saw the original Nightmare on Elm Street. I actually watched the remake. Right. I forgot I was gonna watch something else. I forgot what I said I was gonna watch, but mm -hmm. I, just, I I ended up just watching that mm -hmm. uh, actually last week, and then I just didn't get to watch a movie. This well, week. yeah, well, it was a little disjointed with yeah. you know the break. But and I'll stuff. watch two movies um, okay. this coming week. So, but yeah, I saw the remake of Nightmare on Elm Street because right. Rob was saying like, oh, you should see the remake. It explains because he I told him about how we were confused about how the kids like okay if he killed oh, the yeah. kids and then the kids, but this one it totally made sense about mm -hmm. why he was coming back. Right. Yeah, they did give you a little. bit bit more of the uh, the backstory mm -hmm. in the in the remake so what did you think so i i liked the remake mm -hmm. better than the original it was a little more scarier um the, like i said the kid thing makes more sense how like he was a uh um a predator i guess i would say and then um the parents predator. Found out, yeah <laughs> and the parents found out and killed him so he was gonna even uh, killing the kids later on as they were mm -hmm. older so like oh, okay there right, we go that right. makes sense um, there's still like some humor to him, like when mm -hmm. he was in the school and stuff, but it wasn't as cheesy as the, uh, oh, yeah, the original yeah. one was. <laughs> um, one thing that cracked me up because I think you were watching part of it with me because the, the boyfriend in there, like, we were like, oh, doesn't he look like Edwards? And you're like, yeah, that's a, it's a poor man's Robert Pattinson. <laughs> yeah. The, that little sad sack kid. I don't know. <laughs> he his always name. had that like, oh. 
<laughs> and I've Conan seen him twins. in other movies, and he always looks like that. <laughs> so that now every time like I saw him, like it made me laugh because his face. He's like, oh mm-hmm. god. <laughs> yeah, he just he looks sad all the time. <laughs> and then we were just pissed off because the blonde, like the first girl that got killed, mm-hmm. uh, the the new the new Tina, I guess was her name Tina in this one too. I don't, I don't think remember. so. Yeah, I, think it was I know her else. name. The actress is Katie Cassidy. Okay. But she had just perfect makeup the whole time. We were just like, oh, my God, why does she have, like, it looks like she has lashes on and all this yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. And I think you were saying, like, she looks so much older than everybody else. She is not in high school. <laughs> well, a lot of makeup will do yeah. that, too. I mean, makeup is good sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> but so anyway. uh, that was a little distracting, too. Like, okay, no one goes to bed with a full face of makeup. <laughs> right, right. Really. I mean, it if they do, the that's, that's really bad for them. <laughs> not, not good for your eyes. <laughs> yeah. Not, not good. <laughs> um, so I mean that's the only that's the notes I had and I thought it was good so what what did you think about the guy who plays Freddy? he was was it you that said that you thought he was just creepy looking to begin yes, with isn't he? <laughs> Jackie early yeah early. he was uh, I liked his uh, his voice mm-hmm. oh yeah Cooper. yeah he, he had a great like creepy voice like, mm-hmm. hey there <laughs> yeah the, yeah um, yeah he he was uh, they only show glimpses of him before he got burned mm-hmm. um, so I thought he kind of had some weird distinguishing Features. Yeah, yeah. He's a little guy too. He's he's yeah. kind of short and stuff. And he's he's a good actor and he's yeah. he's great at playing those kinds of roles, but he <laughs> just creeps me so out. Oh, he's just creepy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's really good if you ever watch and I have it, so but um uh Watchmen. Uh he he's okay. in there and he plays a really good role in that movie. Okay. You don't uh, that's another one actually now that I think about it, where you, you don't really see his face all that often. He's the guy I don't know if you remember the commercials for the movie, but he's the guy who has the mask on his face and it's a, a Rorschach painting but it always is constantly oh yeah i do remember that yeah yeah that's Mm -hmm. his character so you Mm -hmm. only see him without the mask a couple of times Mm -hmm. i think in the movie but he plays a really good part in it and there's a couple other uh, there's a couple other movies i've seen him in and he always plays somebody that's a little uh, a little little off off, yeah (laughs) but he he does a great job every time Mm so but yeah cool so i I got scared in a couple couple parts Mm -hmm. you know not thoroughly scared the whole time you know like insidious you know but uh, right (laughs) but it was it was a good scary movie yeah, yeah. Freddy Krueger is one of those ones where the movies themselves aren't actually scary, but the idea of it, I think, is very scary. That just makes me think how I told my mom about the whole rodent issue at our, our oh, uh, oh. at our place of employment, how mm-hmm. I found a bag of Cheetos that had slaps in it. I was like, oh, looks God. like Freddy Krueger opened up my Cheetos. <laughs> yeah, well, here, at our job uh, recently, I think it's been taken care of, yeah. but uh, we had a slight rodent issue. Mm-hmm. And uh, anyone who knows me knows that I'm deathly afraid of rodents. <laughs> Especially rats. So Mm -hmm. I was none too thrilled. (laughs) And uh, so I think, yeah, I think it's been taken care of. We haven't had any more incidents or Mm -hmm. anything. But um, go ahead. You you can finish the rest of the Oh, but yeah, but those Cheez-Its I had bought on Monday. And I didn't eat them. So Mm -hmm. I put them back in the drawer on Tuesday. So this could have happened between Tuesday and Friday. But they were completely sealed. They They were sealed. Yeah, they were sealed. They were in a plastic bag in a drawer. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) And so unless, like, we had a coworker that said, uh, oh, that'd be a good prank. Uh So now I wonder, like, oh, was it a prank that maybe he did? I don't know. I don't know. Those slash marks look. But there was definitely, like, I go to, like, oh, I'm going to take my Cheez-Its with me. And I'm like, oh. Like, why are they all over? And then I opened up the thing and slashed. It looked like Freddy Krueger slashed him. Like, oh, rats have claws, though. So I bet it clawed it open. So she that gave me. me more chills than Freddy Krueger. <laughs> yeah, and I basically ran out and was shrieking. <laughs> That'd be a good like uh, haunted house for, um, <laughs> like, just have, like, a rat house. You just hear, like, you, you have something mm. brushing you and you hear, like, ee! Nope, you know? I, I wouldn't go in oh that one. Oh my god, then, how freaky would that be? Yeah, I don't. Maybe I not the whole house, but a rodents. section of it, and you have like have something brush your feet or mm-hmm. something. Ew, ew. <laughs> oh, I just get chills thinking about it. Oh god, I can't. Just dirty I can't. animals. Yeah, I can't deal with rats and their scaly tails so, and everything. Yeah, so that just made like. And what's funny is I don't mind mice, the little white mice, the little. Gray oh, I don't, mice, I don't like mice like, either. But they, 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 I still go, oh, a mouse, but mm-hmm. they don't like give me chills and like Ugh, like rats do. <laughs> I go. Ah! Oh, the house! <laughs> <laughs> Tina yesterday when I was going through my drawer going oh my god and I was like I still gotta grab my purse she's like wait let me stand on a chair first <laughs> <laughs> yeah exactly like you're all the way over there <laughs> mm, no I don't play I don't so, nope I don't, anyway. I don't like any of them. So that reminded me of it because we mentioned Freddy Krueger. I thought that was funny. It looked like mm. Freddy Krueger slashed open my cheeses. <laughs> you know what's funny? Last night on the way home I almost hit a possum. Oh. Which kind of look like rats. What do you mean? Oh, no, they are some nasty, I hate, yeah, mean they're, animals. They're, uh, yeah, I know. It just it sucks to hit an animal. You're like, oh god. I well, I didn't hit him. I drove like my tire went right past him, oh. and oh, it's so ugly. They are creepy looking. Yeah, Ugh. You know, if you ever watch a cartoon, 
and there's a possum in the cartoon. The uh, the possum is always the mean old man. I guarantee Either it. the possum or a badger. They have a yes, badger. Like a, badger. a fox and a hound. Yeah. What are you doing in my room? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Those two animals are always mean. <laughs> All right. Anyway. anyway. Tangent. <laughs> so, yeah, that was uh, that was my movie. Mm, okay. Well, I watched, I want to talk about two, but one of them I did actually see already. I saw it once in the movie theater. But the brand new movie I saw was Cabin Fever. Have you ever seen that? It sounds familiar, okay. but I don't. I don't know. Yeah, I kept getting it mixed up with this other movie called Wrong Turn, which I've seen. Oh, I've a seen while Wrong ago. Turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this this one is Cabin Fever, and it's <clears throat> it's kind of similar. It's it's you know um, four or five, six, whatever friends go and stay in this cabin in the woods, and you know stuff goes wrong, and they get infected <laughs> with this this nasty. I don't even know what it was. Some kind of disease. And uh, so it was a bit gross. It wasn't ridiculously gross, but there were oh God, there were some really gross parts of it. I, I thought it was pretty entertaining. I, I liked it. Um, <laughs> there were a couple of parts in the movie that I just didn't understand. Like, we're so... I was just like, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> so out there. Yeah, there's this one part. Oh, my God. we I was, like, crying. I was laughing so hard. <laughs> there's this kid that's... I don't know. There's something wrong with him, I think. And he's wearing this horrible wig. He's got weird hair. And this is a horror movie, mind okay. you. <laughs> and the guy pulls up and he's all infected. And he's like, I need help. You know, my friends are dying, blah, blah, blah. And the kid, all of a sudden, for whatever reason, looks at the guy and starts yelling, pancake, real, like, a couple times. He's like, pancake! <laughs> and then the kid jumps up. <laughs> And then this is all in slow motion. He starts doing like these karate kicks in the air. Like I, I have no idea. Like I have no idea where this was going what in the, the movie. Hell? <laughs> exactly. And then he ends up biting the guy. So of course then now the kid's gonna get infected because he's got the guy's blood in his mouth. Mm-hmm. So whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Made no sense whatsoever. So I went on IMDb after the movie was over, and that kid is like a black belt and karate or something said the director who i think is eli roth Mm -hmm. who did like hostel Mm -hmm. and all those other movies um he (laughs) they just like put that scene in there because the kid knows how to (laughs) do karate kicks or something to showcase that yeah but it 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 made no sense and it just i don't know i have no words like it just didn't make any sense at all (laughs) that was my takeaway from the movie (laughs) so i mean it's pretty 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 standard you know people get infected the one thing that was really bugging the hell out of me though is um the water supply the it's like a stream or whatever that's where they get their water and that gets contaminated so somebody drinks some water and then they start to get sick but they visibly get sick but then other people are like oh here let me help you into the shed so that you can stay away from everybody but they're like helping the person they're touching them and yeah. and it's so like there's some really people were just doing really stupid stuff in the movie which is always you know kind of annoying and uh <laughs> it's like us yesterday like why is nobody washing their hands <laughs> yeah exactly i can't yeah. stand when people don't even get me started. Long story. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, uh, so, the, you know, there was that going on, which was really annoying because I would be like, there was one guy who was like, uh, I shouldn't, you know, she shouldn't be in here. I don't want to eat, the, you know, the same food that she's eating. Like he was real worried about getting sick. And I'm like, you know, I would be like that guy. Mm-hmm. And then like the one, <laughs> the, 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 they, they go back in this car where the one guy was spitting up blood all over the car. And the other guy's like, oh, I cleaned it. It's fine. So they get back in the car and he drives the car off. I'm like, really? Really? That's, it's just, so. There was some stupid things like that. Yeah. But overall, I, it was entertaining. It was all right. <laughs> it reminds me of a movie I once saw that was a weird movie. It was with Tara Reid and some other guy where the guy is like, I guess they're a couple, but he ends up going crazy and he takes her to this cabin that's in the middle of a lake. And she's like afraid to swim or something like that. And he's like, he wants to keep her there forever or something like oh. that. And she ends up like escaping or something. Like that. But it was a weird movie. I got to look it up. But it, hmm. uh, and she ends up like tricking him and like sl- sleeping with him. So he's like passed out. And then she like, she created like a, uh, a little raft or something like that. Uh-huh. So I guess she almost drowned as a kid and she's able to escape. And then he like comes after her or something. <laughs> I don't know. It's weird. And then she finds out that everything, their whole relationship was a lie or something. Like that. I don't know. Oh. It just reminded me of that because it was a creepy <laughs> cabin story. Like he was holding her there hostage. Mm basically yeah that is creepy yeah i remember um, tara reed though <laughs> i gotta look it up i'll tell tara you reed, yeah oh boy. um so yeah that that's that movie i think there's a sequel but i'm, I'm not gonna watch that it was probably i think it was probably like a direct to dvd kind of thing so i'll skip that one 
But yeah, that was my horror movie for this week. Mm -hmm. And then I also did watch um, uh, this. I mean, I guess you could say it's a horror movie or maybe, eh, I don't know, called Dark Skies. Did you see that one? Mm -hmm. Okay, I couldn't remember if you saw that or not. Um, I really like this movie. I, I did see it in the theater when it came out. And then just last night I saw it again. So it was my second time seeing it. And I actually liked it a lot more uh, the second time seeing it. This one, actually, you know, you might be able to add this to your list because I know you're you're kind of low with horror movies, mm -hmm. you know, because you don't really like the slasher ones. <laughs> yeah. Um, this one's more about aliens, actually. Okay. But I, I think I would still put it more in, like, the horror genre than, like, the sci-fi genre, you know? Mm -hmm. Um, I don't, I don't want to like give away a whole bunch, but it deals with aliens basically. Okay. Um, I remember actually, this was a movie where the previews gave away a lot of scenes. Um, I remember thinking that when I saw the movie, you know, a year ago or whatever. Yeah, I don't remember <laughs> any previews, so if I'm going to see it, I won't watch any previews then. Okay, good, yeah. good. Uh, yeah, this, this was really good. It's, it's, um, hmm. I don't really, I don't really want to talk about it, it yeah. now. Yeah. <laughs> so well, you liked it though. So I, I liked it. It's yeah. It was good the second time seeing it, um, and it you know it gives you enough answers, but it's still vague, and I think that's a really good thing for horror movies because it's like okay, this is explained enough, but you're not going to get everything handed to you on a silver platter, and um, like I guess technically you could do a sequel if you wanted to. Mm -hmm. But they shouldn't. They should just leave it as it is. It's a standalone movie. So I enjoy it. I think you'd enjoy it, too. So actually. this was a malevolent alien kind of story, as most alien movies are, but <laughs> except for E.T. And the... Yeah, it, it's a small. It deals with, like, one family, basically. Mm -hmm. And uh, so it's not like a big citywide thing or anything like that. But, yeah, you know what? Add it to your list. Okay. I, you'll, I think you'll enjoy it. <laughs> it's called Dark Skies. Dark Skies. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, those were the two horror type movies that mm -hmm. I saw. Uh, glad you liked yours. What did you want to watch for this week? Uh, I want to watch The Thing because you recommended that and yeah. then a co-worker at work also said like, oh, you need to see that. And yours, the one you gave me is the original, right? Well, or is it the remake of It's like, okay, technically, I think the movie came out, it's like a black and white movie. Mm -hmm. And then they remade it in 1982 with Kurt Russell. I think, uh, uh, oh, what is his name? Damn it, I can't remember his name, the guy who actually made the movie, but Kurt Russell stars in it. Okay. So it's technically a remake, but people kind of consider that one the original, the okay. 82, the one I told you to watch. Okay. And then just a couple years ago, The Thing came out, but that is actually, it's the same title, but it's actually a prequel to oh, the okay. 1982 movie. So you gave me the 1982 movie? Yes. Okay. And the, the prequel is okay. Um, it's, I mean, you know what's going to happen because you saw See, the 19, yeah. but it's, it's just, it's, it's all right. Mm -hmm. Um, definitely watch the 1982 version first. And if possible, I also want to see Scream because those are actually like Rob's favorite. Oh, like his, well, he loves the crow first and then he loves mm -hmm. the Scream movies. So yeah, um, I, I, I love the Scream. Scream. Yeah. <laughs> the, the, I have, well, I don't have the fourth one, but I have, uh, the first three. Mm -hmm. I, I really enjoyed the Scream movies. I think movies. he said those are more like kind of humorous in a way. They are. Like, um, like they're, they're slasher humor. <laughs> they, yeah, they. I remember when Screen came out in like '96 or something, and holy shit, I was in middle school. That was it. Like Scream, <laughs> everybody loves Scream. Everybody was Ghostface for Halloween and stuff. <laughs> I just hope that it's not ruined for me because. Um, I've seen all the scary movies, you know, because they make fun of Scream, and like um, I'll probably start laughing because I'll think of a scene from scary movie. Mm -hmm. you know? Well, yeah, you'll you'll see where they pull like yeah. everything from. Um, I don't know; it's hard to say. Yeah, but I Do don't you... know the plot or anything. Oh, okay. I was going to say cause... we'll talk about that next yeah. week after okay. you watch it. <laughs> but yeah, I, I really enjoy Scream. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a good movie. Cool. Um, I'm also going to try to watch two this week. Um, I did say on the last podcast, and I apologize greatly, uh, that I was going to watch Friday the 13th Part 2. But I thought it was on Netflix, and it's not, so I couldn't get my hands on it. What? Um, so that's pay money? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so that's why I watched Cabin Fever. But I, I do have Part 2 and Part 3 now. Um, I borrowed them from a friend, so I'm going to watch those this week, so I'll be all caught up with my mm. Jason movies. And, you know, I went to Blockbuster, and they, they had the first movie, and then they had the remake. And I was like, no. <laughs> I don't want to either. It's mad with you people. No yeah. wonder you're out of business. <laughs> those are the only two I've seen. I don't want those. <laughs> so, yes. Okay. Friday the 13th, part two, and part three for me. Mm. And for you, you've got Scream and The, the thing. thing. Yeah. Oh, I can't wait to talk to you about those next week. I hope you like them. <laughs> I hope so, too. 
All right. Awesome. Awesome. So let's see. Moving on. Um, we've got a couple of little movie news tidbits, but I'm thinking you have a uh, Mr. Loki bit of news for <laughs> Tom us. Middleton moment of the week. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, I just, I looked him up again, but apparently this winter he's going to go back to being on stage because that's where he started out, I guess, as being uh, like a Shakespeare actor or whatever, oh, like mm-hmm. on stage and stuff. He's going to go back and play in Coriolanus. I don't know. It's a, it's a war-themed tragedy, a Shakespeare war-themed tragedy. Okay. Um, and that's what, uh, I don't know if I mentioned last week's podcast, but or maybe I was just talking to you, but they had mm-hmm. some photos of him doing the sword training and stuff, and mm-hmm. he had like this really tight like baby tee on and stuff. I was like, oh, looking pretty... Uh, pretty ripped there. Vanessa you know, started him. sweating. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> right. <laughs> no, he's not for no means. He's no Bane or anything like that. Mm-hmm. But, he's, you know, he's toned for yeah, his, yeah, his, yeah. Light, his you know trimmer figure. So mm-hmm. I was like, oh, that's nice. <laughs> so <laughs> I saw anyway, the pictures. They, they yeah. look nice. So I thought that was interesting. Like, oh, war theme tragedy. You know, he seems to be right. good at those war movies, you know, where he's... Uh, I guess so. I wonder, I is he playing the good guy or the bad guy? I don't know. I didn't uh, didn't say. I think he's probably playing the king or something like that. So maybe he's the good guy, maybe he's the bad guy. Oh, know. yeah. I'm not familiar with that story. So yeah, Neither am I at all. I've never heard of it. I can't even pronounce it. So so are you booking a trip to London? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> oh, For your that, honeymoon. That, well, I've always said, because I've never been you know, in any other country mm-hmm. other than the United States. Well, I drove into Canada and out. That doesn't really oh. count. But, um, so the first place I probably would go would be uh england just because like everyone speaks english so yeah, i wouldn't yeah. feel so lost so that exactly. would be london be the first place i go probably mm, it is an awesome city yeah. so i think you should go <laughs> so yeah that's my uh <laughs> Tom moment of the week we need to have little like bird chirping sounds yeah. or something whenever you say his name so we gotta have the um like a little intro music for that yeah <laughs> yeah Vanessa's Tom Hiddleston oh. <laughs> <laughs> moment of the week. Oh, we can find that in like a Disney movie or something. We can just record <laughs> yeah. that ourselves after yeah. this podcast. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, okay. Anyway, um, what did I see? Oh, oh, um, cool casting news actually. And I wish I had found this out because they 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 made the news sometime this week. I don't remember, but I wish it had happened last week so I could have talked to my sister about it. Mm. But Aaron Taylor Johnson, uh, the young man who plays Kick-Ass, uh, has been cast in the Avengers movie, the new Avengers Ooh. movie. He is playing a character called Quicksilver. I don't know who that is or anything like that. I mean, I picture the Silver Surfer, which I know that's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> that's just what I picture. But um, my, my sister definitely has the hots for him. So oh, yeah. <laughs> she, I said, are you sitting down? And she's like, oh, yeah. And then I sent her the article, and she was like, oh, my God, I'm seriously sweating right now. Because <laughs> it's like, oh, my God, can you imagine the next Avengers movie? Like, I'm going to girl out a little bit here, but Captain America, Thor, and this kid? Because I'll agree. I mean, this kid is super young. He's like, I feel like he's a little kid, but he's mm-hmm. very attractive. Mm-hmm. So, oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. This new movie is just getting better and better. We're just getting closer and closer to Thor 2 as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> and then, now see, this I did not realize, but I also read this character, this Qu- Quicksilver character, um, is going to be in the next X-Men movie, but it's a mm. totally different actor who's playing him. Oh, I think I remember hearing that somewhere. So, it was a weird crossover thing. Yeah. Uh, see, I, I hate stuff like yeah. that, to be perfectly honest. It's like, get a different character. There's there's, there's so many freaking characters yeah. from all these different universes and stuff like i you should never have the same character on <laughs> and doesn't then, sorry oh. uh, doesn't disney own both like marvel no, 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 no. And- uh, well disney owns marvel but fox has like the x-men rights oh right so now. they're kind of uh, oh yeah they're yeah, not gonna they're, ever you're not gonna see any of them they're battling all. over that because they can both technically mm-hmm. uh, use quicksilver so they're both exactly. like well you know it's kind of like deep impact and armageddon you know we're exactly, gonna do our own little yeah. quicksilver so it's <laughs> But I mean, it's it it just looks stupid. I think, <laughs> whatever. And then you're gonna have all these comparisons and blah blah blah. But yeah, so he's gonna be playing that character. And then also, do you know who Elizabeth Olsen is? Oh yeah. Okay, so she is gonna be playing a character called Scarlet Witch. I don't. Again, I don't know anything yeah. about that character either. Um, I don't know if she's a villain or a. <laughs> I did read. Um, I saw that article in Yahoo how she actually Samuel Jackson I think let it slip that she had been cast <laughs> really? or something like that. Yeah, but uh, that Scarlet Witch I guess uh, from the comics is the daughter of Magneto or something. 
Really? Yeah. Wait, now how's that going to work? I don't I don't know. Like I, I may I may be thinking of another character. I don't know. People are probably screaming at a thing. I thought, <laughs> I thought I remember reading that as a daughter. I was like, "Wait." You know what? <laughs> just cuz we haven't said it in a while cuz we haven't talked about superhero movies in a while. Me and Vanessa don't know anything about We all, don't know it. We are stupid when it comes to all comics. All our so. knowledge of comics and superheroes comes from the movies. We don't yes. read them. So I'm sorry if we're saying some really jackass stuff right now. <laughs> like, please leave the, the, the mean emails and stuff because we're, already, like, we're insulting ourselves. Like, I'm dumb when it comes to comics. Like, yeah, I don't, I don't know, know anything. I don't know what I'm talking about. Yeah, so exactly. I'm just going off of what I think I read on Wikipedia. <laughs> 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 so that's about it. So yeah, <laughs> but I think I'm gonna read that. But again, because they have so many, so much news about Avengers and then about this movie, so I may mm-hmm. have gotten them mixed up. <laughs> mm, like, how could yeah. you mix those up? But yeah, I don't know. We'll, well look hey. it up afterwards. Like I'm yeah. pretty sure that's what I read, though. Okay, okay. I mean, like they had character descriptions for both of these when I read the news, but I didn't really want to read them because. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, you know me, my new trailer spoiler yeah. thingy. <laughs> but yeah, this 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 is this is shaping up to be. I mean, it's going to be awesome already because it's a sequel to the Avengers. Mm-hmm. But you've you've got James Spader as the bad guy, and now you got these two who I I really like both of them. I think Elizabeth Olsen is actually a pretty good actress. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I'm really psyched. I now this James is Spader. coming out. Oh yes, yeah. I, I love James Spader. <laughs> actually, on that note. Um, <laughs> No, 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 no. I'm gonna because I still got more movie news. I was gonna go into oh, my sorry. TV discussion, but I'll, I'll wait. But, Jump ahead um, of you. <laughs> now, the Avengers two that's coming out in 2015, right? I think so. Yeah. I, yeah okay. So we have a while. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. So really psyched about that. Moving on, mm-hmm. um, I heard that there were two new trailer teasers released this week. Um, I did watch the one for Godzilla. Uh, cause that's a teaser. It's a teaser, oh, so okay. that's okay. But and I, I'm I'm annoyed because the, the there's one for the new Jack Ryan movie, which a uh, quick quick little thing. I read that Tom Clancy passed away this week, so that's sad to hear. He's a very gifted very writer. writer. Yeah. yeah, but um, I forget what it's called. Jack Ryan Shadow something or whatever. But uh, I've been wanting to see because Chris Pine's playing Jack Ryan now, so I wanted to see something for that. But I started to let it play and I saw that it was two and a half minutes and I'm like, oh, this is a full blown trailer. I can't watch it. So that's kind of annoying. But I did see the Godzilla one. Now you, you saw the Godzilla one, uh-huh. but you haven't seen the Jack Ryan one, right? Right. Okay. We're both in the same boat then. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, after this, can you watch the Jack Ryan one and post your thoughts sure. on Facebook? Cool. Because I, I can't watch it. So. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah. want other people's opinions. You know, how is Chris Pine as Jack Ryan and mm-hmm. stuff? Have you seen any of the Jack Ryan movies? No. I saw they're good. Um, I did not see all of Clear and Present Danger though. That's the because it it's the Hunt for Red October, Patriot Games, Clear and Present Danger, and then the Sum of All Fears. Uh, I've heard of all those movies, uh-huh. but I haven't seen them. You know, I don't remember if I own them or not. I do like them. They're they're I would say watch them. They're mm-hmm. they're good. But I didn't see all of Clear and Present Danger. Clear and Present Danger and Patriot Games had Harrison Ford as mm-hmm. Jack Ryan. The Hunt for Red October had Alec Baldwin. And the sum of all fears, it was Ben Affleck. Oh, so it's kind of like James Bond, like they had different guys. Kind of like I think the sum of all fears takes place because he's younger, and him and his wife like aren't married or anything yet. So that I guess technically takes place before the other ones. (laughs) Um, I have no idea where this new one is taking place, though. Not a clue. (laughs) But yeah, if you could watch that and tell us your thoughts, that'd be awesome. So now the Godzilla uh, teaser trailer. What did you think of that? I, it actually, when I was watching it and they were just showing all the devastation, I was like, oh, wow, this is really cool, like, um, staging, you know, of all this stuff. And then they, they went to black and they had the, um, the roar <laughs> yeah, and the I got chills, roar. you know, I was yeah. like, oh, yeah, that's really good. But they still showed Godzilla at the end. I was like, man, I think they should have just shown the legs or something mm-hmm. and not shown the actual face. Cause then he roared at the end. I'm like, oh, so that's what it looks like. Yeah. You yeah. know, I kind of wish they kind of kept it in the smoke and he just mm-hmm. saw the shadow in the smoke. That yeah. I think is, is freakier. I'm, I'm a big fan for hiding the thing. I, I end, agree. Just like well, Jaws. <laughs> look at the new the trailer for the the new Hobbit movie. Oh, they yeah. show smog the at the end. Yeah. yeah, and it's like you you've got people hooked. You don't need to do that. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, oh, and I, I already saw that trailer back before I'd sworn off trailers, yeah, right. so it's not like I watched it new yeah. or anything. <laughs> but that's the same thing at the very end. You see him wrapping his head around and stuff, and it's like, no, 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 save it, save it. Oh, yeah. You want the big reveal in the movie. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but that being said, <laughs> uh, the Godzilla teaser looks like it has potential, I yeah. think. Um, I remember 
hearing a while ago that they were doing another Godzilla movie, but I was like, oh, whatever, I don't care. <laughs> and then uh, somebody told me that they had the uh, the teaser out. And I was like, oh, all right, well, if it's a teaser, I'll watch yeah. it, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> it reminds yeah. me of Pacific Rim a little bit. Mm, yeah. yeah. I wonder, I see, I don't know anything. I don't know who's going to be in it. I don't know who's directing it. I don't know anything about it. I'll have to check it out. Yeah. But yeah, that's uh, that's it for the trailers. <laughs> mm-hmm. Actually, I think that's all the movie news I yeah. had. Did you have anything else you wanted to add? Uh, No. No. I mean, other than I have a book that I started reading, but that's not oh. really movie news. Well, hold on, no don't one go will... to TV. And then okay, books. that's the thing. I didn't know what order you wanted to do this. Oh, uh, well, you know, we'll do Sons okay. of Anarchy last, and then that'll be our segue into the books. Oh, yes, anyway. Sadie. <laughs> Shut up. Yes, Sadie. <laughs> Lord, my load is heavy. <laughs> <laughs> all right, moving on into TV. Um, let's see. All of our shows are back in full swing now, with the exception mm-hmm. of Walking Dead. Mm-hmm. Um, everything is on, so <laughs> the DVR is getting a workout <laughs> like every night now. Um, let's see. Oh, well, you started uh, Sleepy Hollow, right? Yes, I did. So what, what did you, there was been, what, three episodes? Three episodes, yes. I watched all three of them with Rob <laughs> the oh, other okay. day, all three of them in a row. Um, first of all, I must say Tom Meisen is a good looking chap there. Um, <laughs> He's quite good looking. <laughs> yeah. Because uh, at first I was like, oh, this guy's pretty good looking. Well, actually, it was really funny because I posted about it saying, oh, Tom Meisen giving my other Tom a run for his money. Mm-hmm. <laughs> But in the third, the third episode, they have to go into some, which I'll get into detail about how crazy the, all the supernatural stuff they get into. But they have to go into some dream world or something like that. So he gets shirtless and like lays down on the table, and he is quite scrawny because <laughs> he's tall. He's like probably mm-hmm. like six three or something like that, and like it's really pale and scrawny. So I'm just like, oh, that, the that, only I, that thing... reared back, you know, like that pulled back, pulled my, it back uh, a little attraction there. The only thing I will say is that somebody living back when he did wouldn't be all super toned and stuff. That's true. So that is true. Try and to be accurate. You know, <laughs> um, I will say because I agree, he, I think he's quite attractive mm-hmm. on the show. But he kind of loses. Like I saw a picture of him just normal with with regular length hair and no facial hair, and mm-hmm. like, eh, wasn't really doing okay. it for yeah. me. Yeah. Not ugly, or, you know, no, by no, no means. No, no. But yeah, he's no Tom Hiddleston. So. No, I definitely am digging <laughs> Ichabod Crane. Not what's his name, Tom. Minson? Right? Yeah, Tom yeah. Meisen. M- Meisen. Meisen. Okay. Yeah, like Bison, just Meisen. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> So it's, it's an interesting modern take. Like, I was expecting it to follow the whole Sleepy Hollow story, just like the uh, Johnny Depp one mm-hmm. and everything. But it, it's it's different in that it, it's kind of like the, the signaling the beginning of the end of the world. There's mm-hmm. actually four horsemen, yeah. not just the one. Um, his Ichabod Crane's wife was a witch, so when he died, like, she put a spell on him to protect him or something mm-hmm. like that. But his – it's such a long story. But It's his, like his he's, blood like, linked is, he's or something, right? He's connected to the um, – the headless horseman. So the bad witches raised the horseman. So therefore he got woken up too since right. they're linked. Right. Um, yeah. So then, so now it's all about, they said something about seven years of fighting all these different things until the world ends. Or seven like seasons. That. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and geez, sorry, you know. I cracked myself. <laughs> <laughs> okay anyway okay yeah. um one thing that it, it bothers me now because rob mentioned it because mm-hmm. it bothers him but um it, it, the the three episodes are spanning across a couple days and the guys wearing the same clothes like and he's mm. like you know get him some new clothes like they, probably they laundered it i think they showed him like because he, he was wearing just the shirt because mm-hmm. he had been sleeping or something but like why can't i mean obviously they want to keep him in his character as like okay he's from the past because mm-hmm. so they can't put him in in regular clothes mm-hmm. but I don't know. It just, yeah, it bothers me. He's wearing these exact same clothes. He's <laughs> kind of gross. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, it's, it's interesting. It's not mm-hmm. like the best show ever. I think, I think it has, its, it's um, intriguing. It has its faults. The effects are a little more, but it's, it is a TV show. So right. you can't really judge based on that. And in a couple of parts, you know, I was like, Oh, you know, that, that mm-hmm. was unexpected. Yeah. Yeah. I did the same so, thing actually. So, uh, I'm going to watch it again. It's on, mm-hmm. it's on Monday. So, um, I don't think you don't have any shows you watch Monday nights, right? Tuesday night is Suns. Right. right. I don't, I think, I don't think so. It's on so. Mondays at nine. So I, I'm going to try to watch that. Yeah. So. I usually work on Monday nights, yeah. but I have my DVR set. Yeah. So, but yeah, I, I agree. So. I watched all three episodes also. Oh, you did? Okay. Yeah. 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 Um, and there's a lot of gorgeous women on this show. Oh, yeah, there is. <laughs> <laughs> it's, um, oh, I forget, I forget the main girl's name. It's Nicole something. Mm. I think she's very, she's very really beautiful. Pretty, yeah. And then also the girl or the woman who plays his wife mm-hmm. um, with the red hair. She's, she's really gorgeous. And then the push-up bra dress. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Like that's what they wore back then. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 
Actually, I did want to mention that they had some funny lines in there, like when he says to the main girl, like, oh, when were your people emancipated? I was She's actually like, like excuse what? me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, when were women allowed? When was it a lot uh, decent to wear trousers? Trousers. <laughs> <laughs> so that, yeah, that was cute. funny. Yeah, you know what it kind of reminds me of, and especially I guess because I'm all like, like even like the intro, it's like oh, this is all like Halloween type yeah. stuff. So I'm really into it. But it reminds me kind of of um, old school Supernatural. I know you don't watch that show, but uh, the first couple of seasons of that show were kind of along the same thing. Where like it was like a monster, a different monster each week, and there was some underlying yeah. story things uh, that carried through throughout each episode. But it reminded me of that, like the old episodes that I really, really enjoyed of that show. So, yeah, I'm interested to see where it goes. I have no idea. I do know that it got picked up for a full season. Hmm. So it's not going to get canceled like next week or anything. I was reading on Yahoo that there's like four shows that got canceled when their first run, like Lucky yeah. Seven or something. Yeah, like that. I don't J. even Fox know what show. that is. I don't know. It's Did the Michael bad. J. Fox show get canceled? I don't think they canceled it. They said it's not doing well. Oh, okay, because so. I, I went out on a limb this season and I, I started watching three sh- brand new shows. Mm-hmm. Two of which got picked up for full se- two, uh, you know, full season, mm-hmm. which one of them is Sleepy Hollow. Uh, the other is The Blacklist. That's going to have a full season. And then the other show that I watch is The Michael J. Fox Show, mm-hmm. which I haven't read anything about that one. Uh, so hmm, that's interesting. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So that's good. Um, speaking of The Blacklist, have you seen any of that? Is that the one with Jane Spader in it? Yes. Oh, OK. Yeah. So, yeah, I saw parts of that, which I thought looked interesting. I just couldn't like watch the rest yeah, of it. Yeah, I'm totally, totally on board with the show. Yeah. I Yeah, it's really interesting. Isabella Rossellini was in the last episode. Oh, really? Yeah, I, I haven't her. seen her in a while. Oh, yeah. yeah, I love her voice. Yeah. <laughs> So, yeah, I really like this show. There's, um, you know, one or two little things that I'm just like, whatever about. But uh, no, on the whole, I, I really enjoy it. So what? I'm sorry. Did I ever make you watch The Odyssey or is that just on your list? It's on my list. Oh, OK, because she's in that and she plays oh, really? Athena, the oh. goddess Athena in that. Yeah, I, I, I love her. Yeah. She's, she's great. Anyway, continue. <laughs> but yeah, no, I, I really enjoy that show. So <laughs> I was really, I read it yesterday, excited to see that it got a full season order. So yay! <laughs> um, let me see what else. Oh, um, now, <clears throat> have you watched any of the Agents of Shield show? No, I have not. But and I was going to, but uh-huh. then of course I rag on like it makes no sense why this guy's still alive, and it's kind of boring. And like he's giving me his full review, and I'm like, no, now I really don't want to watch. It. <laughs> yeah, I mean. And that kind of makes me feel better because I, I watched both episodes and it was a chore to watch them. I don't know why, but I am not into this show at mm. all. And it's, I don't know. I just, I don't care about anybody on this show besides <laughs> Agent Coulson and Ming-Na. I don't remember what her name is on the show. The girl, woman who does Mulan's voice. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, but no, I, I whatever. I don't care. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to going to clock out of that show and maybe at the end of the season like when it's on Hulu or something I'll watch all the episodes. Like I'll do like a little marathon viewing and mm-hmm. maybe then I'll get into it cuz as of right now I just I don't I don't care about it really. Speaking of getting into stuff, I mm-hmm. actually started getting back into Breaking Bad those last couple episodes. I watched oh, yeah. like the, the last two and then the finale mm-hmm. and I was like no, now I kind of actually want to go back and see how see this how came it got to be so weird. yeah, yeah, yeah. because Cause you, you saw the first handful of episodes basically right? the first season almost. okay okay yeah. yeah um but yeah I didn't see two what was this five seasons or six five yeah so yeah. I, I missed out quite a bit but I was able to catch up and see okay yeah this is a lawyer guy blah blah but I mm-hmm. didn't know all the backstory like mm-hmm. I didn't really understand why he and Jesse really hated each other mm-hmm. um but I, I don't know if you were going to talk about it, but I really like the finale. So, and I like the last couple episodes beforehand. So mm-hmm. like, maybe I should try watching this <laughs> again. You could. Um, I, I mean, I still have my same opinion about the show. The only time I got super into the show was the last handful of episodes. These oh, really? last okay, five so or whatever. That's what's tricking and me. And <laughs> again, it's, it's a good show. It's written well. It's acted very well. I just, I don't know. <laughs> I think probably because everybody just acts like it's the greatest show on television so you know when you have that expectation going in and then you watch it you're just like okay um that was good but <laughs> kind of like the conjuring <laughs> yeah yeah it, yeah basically yes um but yeah it's a really good show i i from watching the whole thing i think you you personally just knowing how i know you um <laughs> i would say watch something else i don't think oh, okay. you'll really get as much out of it i mean you saw the end you saw how it all ends mm-hmm. and you know the basic idea yeah uh, I, I would say move on to something else, though. Okay. Um, 
but yeah, it was it was pretty interesting. The finale was good, but I felt like it was super safe. Like a lot it of ended exactly. Yeah. yeah, it ended exactly how like. Well, if we're gonna wrap this up all nice, this is how to do it. Tie the little bow. <laughs> exactly. It, it, it's the it was the happiest ending that the show could have. I think. I was reading about it. They're saying like, oh yeah, maybe safe, but you don't know what happened to the kid of the one guy, one girl Jesse was with. I guess like you don't know what happened to him. You don't know what happened to the lawyer. You don't know well, what happened to the rest of the money. Saul is getting his own spinoff show. Oh really? Yeah. Okay. Well, that's. I mean that. That's what I read last I week. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, they were saying like you don't know what happened to the rest of Walt's money, you know, because he mm. killed the guy before he could tell him and stuff. So like, there's a couple things that are left in the open. There is, but I mean, but not big the, the main characters, ones you care about, all yeah. had nicely wrapped up endings. Mm-hmm. So it's not that it was bad. It was just because like the episodes before that, I was like, <gasps> while yeah. I was watching it, I was like holding my breath and stuff. So um, I was expecting the finale to be that way, and it just wasn't. It was just like. Here's your ending. There you go. Bye. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, that's the end of Breaking Bad. <laughs> yeah. um, oh, speaking of the ending, uh-huh. I thought it was cute. They actually, somebody in, um, I don't know if it's in Arizona or whatever, they they love Breaking Bad so much that they paid for a spot in their newspaper for an obituary <laughs> for Walter White. <laughs> like, you will be missed. You know, says so like, oh, he is survived by his wife, Skylar. And uh-huh, <laughs> yeah. That's cute. So, and they had a picture of, him, of Brian Cranston and everything. So That's hilarious. <laughs> I, I like that. Yeah. <laughs> That was cute. <laughs> oh, 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 you know, look, before I forget, let me let me throw this out there. I've started Scandal. Uh, that The third season started up on Thursday. Is that and Showtime I, or what? No, it's ABC. Oh, okay. It's a Disney show. Uh, yeah, I started that up and uh, I have the DVR set because I think I can catch up soon because there's only, there's two seasons. They're both on Netflix and the first season was only like... 10 episodes or something and now I'm in the second season and it is interesting I will give you that it's quite addicting it's uh I I love Carrie Washington I think she's great Mm -hmm. and um there's a couple of side characters that kind of get on my nerves but as a whole you know they're enjoyable and um Oh, I love the chemistry between uh, Carrie Washington and Tony Goldwyn. Do you remember Tony Goldwyn oh, from yeah. uh, Ghost? He's the voice of Tarzan. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, he's he's got an awesome voice. Yeah, but yeah. yeah, them two together, they're quite. Uh, I don't know what to say. On fire. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. So I'm um, in the second season of that. So we'll see where that goes. Mm. <laughs> um, everybody I know that watches that show is super addicted to it. So mm. I'm assuming that will happen to me. I'm just going to let it happen. Let okay. it flow. <laughs> see where it goes. <laughs> um, let's see. What other shows do we want to talk about? Started Homeland. That's uh, season three, I think, also. Um, yeah, that started up. That's got an interesting start. We'll see where that goes. Um, I like keep track of all these shows. <laughs> I don't know. I just have a, that's where my brain just is easy with that kind of stuff. Yeah. Can't remember math, but I can remember TV shows very easily. <laughs> y equals MX plus B. I don't know. Yeah, I do remember that. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's for the slope or something. Yeah, like, I don't know. Oh, God. Like, yeah, l- l- let's not show how. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's see what. Oh, and then Sons. Uh, I won't say exactly what happens in Sons in case you do ever start watching the show. But this last episode was kind of like, oh, whatever, whatever. And then woo, the last bit kicked in full force, and I'm like, mm-hmm. this is why I love this show. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it was uh, it was very interesting. Something happened that I did not expect to have happen. So it'd be really interesting to see how the rest of the season plays so you out. I love it when things like that happen. Yeah, I love getting unexpected. thrown a curveball like that. It came out of nowhere. I did not see it coming at all. Like, I saw it coming eventually, but maybe, like, at the end of the season, you know? I don't know. That just made me think of, it was a Tiny Toons Adventures, like, expect the unexpected. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I get tense with the show. Anytime they all go out on a ride somewhere, I'm like, oh, is there going to be a shootout? Or is you know, is somebody going to run gonna them over? What's going to happen? Yeah, I'm like, no, not my chips, not Tig. No, no. <laughs> but yeah, man, I, I, I just love that show. Although what I am not loving are these 90-minute episodes. They've had like three or four. Na- yeah, because it comes on at 10. So I'm not going to bed till like midnight. I'm like, oh my God, yo, like this is cool, but no. And I can't not watch it. I have to watch yeah. it when it comes on. <laughs> Thing, like, you could DVR and watch it the next day. No. 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 <laughs> no, God, no. <laughs> Steve Carell. No, but, God, no. Yeah, no, I, I got to watch it live. I also uh, text my sister and my mom usually and my best friend. We all text each oh, other geez. during the commercials. 
because we can't watch text. it together. So this is like watching it together. No, but um, no, now I, I got to watch it. Huh? Isn't that sweet? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> sweet with our biker gang show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, but I think because um, I think it's usually like 12 or 13 episodes. So I think this season there's only going to be like 10 episodes. They just made them longer. Yeah, yeah. but it's, it's still annoying because mm-hmm. I, I, I'm all crabby the next day. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Uh-huh. <laughs> but no, it's... Uh, goodness i don't know if you listened to last week's podcast but maria also said that you should uh hop on the yeah i know Sons of Anarchy like, oh train. my god you guys watch that like, mm, yeah it's so I watched good the first one i didn't really get into it now wait now now you know maria you know how girly she is mm-hmm. and fashionable and stuff like that and she was the same way when i i said maria you know you should you should watch the show it's really good and she's like wow oh, yeah. it's a biker, biker game game. show yeah and you see how crazy really hardcore she is into that show now so, okay. everybody that I've gotten to watch it has become obsessed with it. Okay. So, just saying. <laughs> Tell her, folks. Tell her. Okay. <laughs> now, since we talked about sons, we're going to... Ooh, Jax had a really nice shirtless scene in this episode, <laughs> I too. I saw that Maria posted about that. It was like, finally, or whatever yes. she says. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> but now, skipping over from TV. Well, that was a nice little segue. Speaking of Jax. Yeah. I Hunnam. started reading mm-hmm. 50, <laughs> 50 shades of gray <laughs> Ooh. because of the whole movie's coming out i was like well, let me just see what this whole thing is going on about it <laughs> and uh, actually i i will say it's not a horrible read it really you guys are saying like oh it's the worst book ever blah, blah. i really don't i it's not the worst book ever i definitely but it's not think there's too good. much sex in it like i think they should have more character development than they have every single sex scene right but i do think it's interesting how he's psychologically like because he was like abused with the cigarettes or something as a kid and he just can't be touched and they had some really touching scenes where he allowed her to touch his chest and stuff yeah but it I doesn't like. go in depth enough. right it actually it's it's a what, it, what do you call it? a poor man's version of my jr war books you mm-hmm. know with the with, with sadists because he just can't bear to be touched because he was mm-hmm. abused and stuff it's uh, but that is hardcore into the characters in those mm-hmm. books so that's that's the fault i find in it is that it's really it's just kind of a washed out version it's like, yeah it's, it's not very, a bad read it's but it's it's uh, very simple and it's you can tell that it started out as fan fiction and then she wrote a story around the sex mm-hmm. scenes. I think it's very obvious. Yeah. It definitely does ring a lot like Twilight. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, really yeah, 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 yeah. like, I, you know, I don't understand why you want me, blah, blah, blah you're so, and he's just oh. like, and he always is kind of full of himself and everything and just, uh, shoot me in the head now. But all of a sudden he just loves her so much and he's just like another girl like, oh, I can't live without you. You are my light. You're my like, oh, come on. <laughs> I know. Oh my God. And apparently this is what women want nowadays mm. so no i just be like you're you're suffocating me like like you're if Rod did that like you are my light you are my love you're my darling whatever. yeah um. every now and then to get like a text message oh, saying well, that yeah. it's very nice very yeah. sweet like oh, oh. yeah but, but not every day like that <laughs> obsessive thing that that's creepy yeah and i just watched fear last night so <laughs> <laughs> let me down <laughs> yeah it's i mm-hmm, i don't i don't dig that shit at all yeah. like but it's I have nice to, to feel wanted, but no, no, I've no, no, no. I've actually read the first and second one already. Like I just went because it was so like quick. Okay, yes, yeah, sex scene, page, page, page. Yeah. So, like I kind of like skip, skip through those. Yeah, because so. they get extremely repetitive. Yes. And now I'm actually not like I got the third book where I'm like not excited to read it because they kind of she should end it on the second book honestly because now the third book is about that uh, her old boss getting even or something. I was just like, oh, that, that's a lame thing. Like, oh, what power does he have to like, yeah. So that exactly. I thought was kind of lame. So I'm like, I don't think there was a need for a third book. No, not so. at all. All right. So now that you've um, you, you got a good handle on the characters, um, were you, when you were reading it, did you picture Charlie Hunnam in the role? Or were you pictures, you know, your own vision? I, or what? No, I wasn't really picked because I've only seen him, you know, in Pacific Rim and that's it. I've mm-hmm. seen him in the other things. And the pilot of Sons. Like, yeah. <laughs> um, so I was trying to imagine, but they describe, like she says, his, his uh, red hair and stuff. So it was hard mm-hmm. to because he has um, blonde. different He's so features. Blonde, yeah. yeah. Um, I can't picture her at all. Like, I know she has brown hair, but I can't really picture what she supposedly looks like. Mm-hmm. So I guess the actress they picked, they're going to dye her hair brown because that's amazing Probably. how his mom was a brunette. So mm-hmm. he's kind of like... Drawn. Yeah. yeah. Um, but um, The girl that they picked, uh, what's her name? Dakota Johnson. Mm-hmm. I pictured more... She seems like somebody that I would picture more for her friend Kate? in the book. Yeah. Kate. Okay, yeah, I don't remember her name. But yeah, that, that one. But when they talk about his physique, how he like works out and stuff, like, okay, I can see that with, with Charlie Hunnam. Because like, I know he has a good physique. But yeah, so he... Uh, 
when they describe him in the book about his muscle, like she's talking about how he's so fit and all this stuff because he does kickboxing or whatever. Mm-hmm. Like that, I could I could see being as Charlie Hunnam because mm-hmm. I know he has a nice physique. So I'm like, okay, I can see that working. Mm-hmm. So uh, I'm guessing they're not going to dye his hair <laughs> red or oh, anything God. for that. Uh, I can imagine all that. But I can see him, I think I could see him playing the character and getting that, you know, playfully boyish, you know, character mm-hmm. that he can do. And then also being very, I haven't watched Sons, but I'm sure he can be very stern too. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I can see that working. Okay. Yeah. Um, I mean, I've already said my opinion on him being that character, but I, I still, ooh, if Matt Bomer was picked, I would have lost my shit because <laughs> that's exactly who I pictured when I was reading it. Hmm. He just fits the bill perfectly. And if you see him in a suit, <laughs> Good to go. <laughs> I would love for this movie to be like, you know, because they can borrow from the book, but then they could really develop the characters for the screen. I'm hoping or they something. do. Because really, they really could do, they can make it a really good movie. Yeah. Well, like I was talking to one of my friends, and she had mentioned maybe they could combine all three books into one mm-hmm. movie. Now, that yeah, would make sense. <laughs> yes, that would make sense, but I feel like they won't do that because they'll want to make money and mm. make a sequel and all that stupid shit. So, probably not, but that would make the most sense. Mm-hmm. Or. They're going to have to really get a tight script. Because as it is now, the the first book, it's like, wait, what happens in this book? <laughs> like, really? What happens in this book? Not oh, a whole hell of a lot. One thing that really did bother me is that mm-hmm. throughout the whole, like, first and the second book, he had sa- said how his uh, his ex, you know, the one uh, mom's friend who had seduced him when he was a kid, uh-huh. um, that Mrs. Robinson, as they call her, um, that she had no interest in him, that they were over, it's used as a business partner uh-huh. or whatever, um, and she was she was blonde. You no, know, she was the one blonde he was with or something like that. But at the very end of the second book, when he announces that he and um, Anna are getting married... Like, she confronts Anna saying, like, you can't satisfy him. But, like, she acts like that she's in love with him. I was like, that came out of the blue. That yeah. Was, no, that was wrong. Like, they yeah. played off like she was like, oh, okay, well, if she doesn't want to talk to me, like, because mm-hmm. she was not into him at all. And all of a sudden, like, yeah, 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 yeah. like, yeah. this girl fight thing. I'm like, come on. Yeah, come on, come on. Let's so that, that really not bother me. I was like, yeah. No. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> so they're not bad, but they they do have a lot. You of see what I mean, me. though, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's like I, it's whatever. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot, probably a lot better books that handle this subject matter. A yeah. lot. Um, well, I tell you right now, J.R. Ward, they have a um, mm-hmm. uh, vicious as his name is, and mm-hmm. he has uh, he likes that that kind of. Yeah, um, I remember you saying. Yeah. That. So and that a lot of people have praised her for what mm-hmm. she's talked about, like why he's like that way and everything, mm-hmm. and how they get into it and everything. Like it's not just so like oh I like to be whipped. Like it's something. It's yeah, psychological. yeah, yeah. So um, yeah, I love those books. I mean, <laughs> she's actually coming out. She has another series called the Fallen Angel series. It's like a battle of heaven and earth kind of thing. Is it totally, totally cool. separate series? Then? Yeah, totally. Okay. Se- well, actually, they have some characters that appear in both books. So it's not, like in the same they're universe. Not main character. Okay. Yeah, it's the same universe. Yeah, but it's okay. not main characters don't show up, but secondary characters do. So mm-hmm. I like that too. So her mm. next book is coming out. So I love. Now, is too. the other was it the Black Dagger series? Is that done now? Or? No, no. Oh, okay. She's still going strong with that. I think it's coming to a close soon oh, okay. because this whole build up of this battle between the ma- the reigning king and some mm-hmm. other, some other guy who's rebelling like that's coming up which i think will be in the next book so um they're kind of running out of characters like because oh. it also is a love story but mm-hmm. it's also definitely about that backstory about the ra- the, the vampire uh world and everything uh. <laughs> <laughs> i'm trying to think what's it with the kingdom the <laughs> the realm so, I just, yeah i just I love those books. Yeah. I love them so much. After I finish Wicked and the two, you know, the last three Harry Potter audiobooks, I was bam, bam, bam. I was knocking those out. And then now I'm like, mm, I don't feel like listening to that. Yeah. I, I got like, I think I listened to too much too quickly. Mm-hmm. But as soon as I finish those, Wicked, and then I want to reread Catching Fire, mm-hmm. I'll start that series. So I'm, in- okay. I'm interested. It sounds I good. I have all the books. So <laughs> I will be borrowing them. <laughs> Man, I can't ever find time to read. Like, I yeah. love reading. Reading is awesome, but I just well, you got don't like six time. TV shows that you're watching. <laughs> yeah, so. but I mean, a lot of those I just watch. Like, I watch while I'm doing other stuff. You mm. know, so it's not. But uh, reading, you have to just sit and read. Yeah. You can't like you can do laundry while you read. That's about it. Well, you're, <laughs> you know, like I can once I'm stuck into a book. You can mm-hmm. ask Rob sometimes when he would say something to me. I'm like, what? I'm reading. Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> and yeah, he yeah. Said. So. Uh, alrighty. So Nothing yeah, else. Vanessa's on the um 
Fifty Shades train. Not really a big fan. I don't think it's bad, but I'm definitely not like, oh, I'm so excited for this movie. Oh, my God. No, yeah. No. So, yeah, you're yeah. in the same boat yeah. as the rest of us. <laughs> <laughs> the people that aren't under the spell. Yeah. Do you know who Alexis Bledel is? Bidel or Bledel. Do you know who that is? No. Oh, okay. I'll show you a picture later. But those were the two. Fa- she was the fan favorite to play. Anna? Anna? Okay. I had totally blanked out on her name. Miss Steele? <laughs> right. Okay. She was the favorite to play that character. And then Matt Bomer was the favorite to play Christian. Oh. So I'll show you them later and you can see how they measure up. Anyway. Um, yeah. Books. I mean, I'm still stuck on page like 60 of Wicked. So. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'll get on it soon. But anyway, I think that's pretty much everything, right? Mm-hmm. Did you have anything else you wanted to add? Nope, that's all my notes. <laughs> awesome. Well, we're going to continue with our TV shows. I am throwing in my flag on Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., though. I will, I'll try starting that up when the season ends. But as of right now, I'm not watching that anymore. Um, and uh, so, yeah, uh, for next week, what do you have? The Thing and Scream. Awesome. And Walking Dead, if I can. <laughs> oh, okay, <laughs> I promise cool. that like, every week, and I never get around to it. It's just like, nah, I don't feel like yeah. it. <laughs> No, I really do feel like watching it. Just I'm like, okay, am I in zombie mood? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Maybe yeah. like when Rock comes over today, maybe we'll watch a couple episodes of Walking Dead. Cool. Because he, he likes zombies, so. <laughs> mm, okay. Um, and I've got uh, Friday the 13th Part 2 and Part 3. So we're all set. Mm-hmm. So we'll be back next week like normal. Um, I don't think there's anything coming out in the movies that I want to go see. Mm-hmm. Yeah, October's kind of a dead zone, actually. There's nothing really that I'm psyched about, you know, until Thor, but that's November. Yeah. <laughs> so, November yeah. Or something, yeah. Until next week, uh, thanks again to uh, our the folks that gave us the reviews. They are greatly appreciated. And the people that liked our podcast page on mm-hmm. Facebook. What were you going to say? Oh, I was going to say thank you to Maria for uh, filling in for me. Oh, yes. Last yes. Week. Yeah, because I listened to it. I was cracking up in bed. <laughs> so it's just a thing with being sisters, you know. You, you The banter is already yeah, the banter yeah, built is in. Yeah. <laughs> so. Yep, that well, is What true. was it that you said? They're like, well, you, because she's like, well, you can't do this. And I'm like, well, you can't draw. Uh. <laughs> so what you said, I was like, oh, that was hurtful. <laughs> <laughs> that was way harsh, Ty. <laughs> yeah, <exactly. laughs> oh, boy. But, yep, so that's it for this episode. Um, if you would like to send us any feedback or movie recommendations, we haven't gotten any movie recommendations except for the documentary thread that we made. Mm-hmm. But, uh, yeah, any cool movies you check out that you think we should see, please let us know. You can email us at damselsindebate at gmail.com or you can post a comment on our website, which is just damselsindebate.com. I can't talk. (laughs) And uh, on our website, you can also stream all of our podcast episodes. And let's see what else. We're on iTunes. You can subscribe to us and rate us and give us reviews on there. As other people have done. Yes. (laughs) As you, yes, other people have done. three other people. (laughs) Mm. And uh, we are also on Stitcher. So there is no excuse if you have an Android phone or an iPhone. We're on everything. And uh, Twitter. We're also on the Twitter. (laughs) And Facebook. Just look for Damsels in Debate. Right? That's everything. Mm -hmm. All right. Until next week. See you later. Or hear you later. <laughs> I don't know. Listen to you later. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that doesn't make go. any sense. I need a sign off. I don't have a sign off. We got to make one. <laughs>